Welcome to beautiful Idaho, where Coeur d'Alene plays host to the Coeur d'Alene Championships. This golf course is known for its incredible views and amazing finishes. Get ready as we open the regular season on the PGA Tour. Good luck. This should be just fine. At 260 yards, this is not an easy shot. No, you're absolutely right about that, McCord. It's in the sand. Trying to find the swing. Couldn't have planned it any better. Do the math. This one will break to the right. Makes his par. This par four hole requires length and accuracy from tee to green. Aim your tee shot straight down the fairway. An aggressive approach shot can yield a very possible putt for birdie. Straight and short. What are we waiting for? Swing already! Well, would you look at that? Here's a trophy ball for you. Your favorite kind of bird. Here's the eagle trophy ball. This beautiful par three rests along the beaches of Lake Coeur d'Alene, providing breathtaking views of a lake. The safe play is to aim for the right of the green.
miss this and you're looking at a bogey. Two under for the tournament. The fourth hole is a short dog leg to the left. The hole is a drivable par four for those who can play a draw off the tee. Aim the tee shot to the right if you want to play it safe. The green is protected by trees on the right and a small bunker in the front. Chide, this one's not looking good. Ooh, yanked that one right into the boondocks. Nothing wrong with that swing. If this falls, we'll have a tie atop the leaderboard. Okay, you're standing on a slope here. See which way it goes? Yeah, it's gonna dribble to the right. under for the tournament. The totally redesigned fifth hole features one of America's largest formal bunkers. Club selection must be dead on to avoid this huge bunker. Be heading for the rough here. For birdie. This is a mean looking putt. If you play any slower. You'll have to join the group behind. Oh, get out the smelling salts. I think I'm going to fail. The sixth hole offers a spectacular view of Lake Coeur d'Alene. A drop in elevation causes the hole to play shorter than its yardage. If you fly the green, you'll have a tough up and down from the bunker.
this putt for a share of the lead. Tied for the lead. The seventh hole is a medium length par four. Most players will use a fairway wood or long iron to avoid driving through the fairway. The green is protected on the right side by a large bunker. The best approach to the green is from the center of the fairway. Fairway Faraday, he should be happy with this one. The shot should find the green. This for three straight birdies. Look at this ball roll. Another medium length par four, which requires accuracy from tee to green. Don't get cued off the tee. Just put yourself in position for your second and attack the pin. Beware of the hazards lurking along the left side of the fairway and green on your approach. Right where it's supposed to be, down the middle. What's the distance, David? About 170 yards to this hole. That'll be in good shape. Nothing wrong with that. Hey now, this would be four straight birdies. This has a chance. Number nine, the longest of the par fives, requiring a long and accurate tee shot. This hole demands length and accuracy from tee to green. The green is guarded by bunkers on the left and right. Nothing fancy here, just line it up and make sure to hit it straight. He's got to like this shot. What's the situation down there, David? This is a tough situation, you know, like 300 yards and something else left of the whole place. You know, I'm glad I'm an announcer.
That's going to be short. Not a terrible shot. Nothing wrong with that. Seven under on the round. Just as on hole nine, the tenth places a premium on accuracy. Make sure to keep your tee shot straight. Aim down the center for your best play. An errant tee shot to the right could make for a difficult approach to the green. No complaints about this shot. What do you have down there, David? 180 yards, there, thereabouts. This approach looks like it'll catch the grain. Should be in good shape here. The birdies are flying all over the place today. That's six in a row, and definitely worth the trophy ball. This par five can be reached in two by only the longest and most accurate hitters. Aim to the right if you want to play it safe. A player's tee shot must avoid Fernand Creek to the left. The second shot must again avoid the creek, which protects the front and right sides of the green. Fly the green, and you're likely to end up in the bunker. This is exactly what he was trying to do here. what you have, David. No, I think old stripey head cover might come off here. We're right about, well, it's got to be close to 300 yards. Definitely wasn't going for the fence on that shot. This looks good, should be safely on the green. This would be seven straight birdies if it goes in.
Bravo. Eight under for the tournament. All right, simple enough the par 312. Just avoid the water surrounding the left and back edge of the green, and you're home free. Miss long, and you're hitting three off the tee. That's really hard to do. Stop your swing mid-action. Ah, you've got to love that. That's fantastic. Eight under par today. The 13th hole revisits the shores of Lake Coeur d'Alene. The safe play off the tee is to aim right and put yourself in position for a straightforward approach shot to this tightly guarded green. Miss long with your approach, and you'll have a tough up and down from the bunker. I could be mistaken, but this appears to be going towards the rough. It's find the rough. This should be close to the flagstick. What a shot, David. Right into the hole of its stroke properly. Nine under par for the championship. The 14th features the world's only floating green. Club selection is everything here, given the additional bunkers to the front right and rear of the green. do occur your first hole in one and you know what that means of course you've earned the aces wild trophy ball fifteen is a par five reachable in two a fairway bunker on the left is in play on the tee shot 
The green is protected on the left side by a large bunker. A player's best approach to the green is from the left side of the fairway. Accuracy is a must. He's gonna like this one. We could be looking at Eagle here on this par five. Come on, go for it. Right on target. Should be able to make birdie here. Step up and drain it. A shot. The 16th hole is relatively straight. The fairway bunker to the right should motivate players to stay in the center or to the left with their tee shot. The green is guarded by front bunkers on the approach. This is looking good. Incredible shot. That's one for the scrapbook. This putt for Burton. The 17th is a short par 4. The hole is drivable for those who can skillfully manage their drive off the tee. Aim the tee shot to the right if you want to play it safe. Trees line the fairway on both sides and the green is protected by a large bunker on the left. This is where you need to take out the big dog. Go for the green. All runners advance. Oh, this could find the row. Yeah, it's hung up on the rough, I'm afraid.
this for five in a row. Concentrate now, you can make this one. That was your 12th birdie of the day, and for that, we present you with the Birdie Buster Trophy Ball. A final hole at Coeur d'Alene provides a challenging finish. If playing safe is your plan, stay to the right. The left side requires skill and patience. Accuracy is of the utmost importance. The green is protected by a large bunker to the right, poised to punish errant shots. This will work. Nice play. Looks to be in the 200 yard range from here. Uh huh. Uh, tough to agree with that assessment. Oh yeah, this is headed for the green. That's the way we like it. Looks fairly routine from where I'm sitting. Does it have the distance? 